Okay, so today we're glad to invite our, our Spanish ambassador, Fernando Munoz, um, also known as Senor Munoz. He's the, the co-founder and uh, SEO manager at Grupo Raiz, but also is a regular speaker for major online marketing events. So thank you for joining us today. Um, we're going to talk a little about, about, um, about you and introduce you to our community. So the first question is, um, can you tell us how you started in the in the SEO world? Well, it uh, was uh, like an accident. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the world fit to become an SEO because I was uh, um, I just uh, finished my studies. I'm computer engineer, computer science engineer, and I finished my studies and I come to Marbella. On, uh, and I start to work in a small hotel chain group, and uh, they were doing a lot of SEO. They were doing internet marketing. It was uh, one of the um, well, how, how to say it? It, it, this was uh, this company was uh, one of the most powerful uh, on the internet at uh, those days. They were doing. Um, uh, they, they were doing things from 95 so i jumped into the marketing uh, marketing uh, structure i jumped into the internet marketing structure and that's why i i start to uh, read about seo i start to write about seo i start to um i start to work in that part of the marketing online that's uh, that's how uh, that, how this starts okay um that's interesting actually yeah um so you know that the founder of the, the seo agency um senior Munoz, but you recently launched uh, the price so can you tell us a little bit a little bit more about it what's the the project um why are you doing there yeah sure that, it's a pleasure thank you um we were doing SEO for great companies. We were doing SEO for the biggest companies in Spain, but we're a small company. We're, we're a small boutique. And um, we were wondering how to become bigger. And you and, and the audience know that the SEO is uh, hardly scalable. It's, uh, it's hard to scale on SEO because you need a lot of people working for you. It's not about um, five clients, five SEO, 10 clients, 10 SEO. It's not that, that how SEO works. So um, wondering how we can become bigger. Um, we were working with some other small agencies, big agencies, but small in, 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 in number. And uh, we were talking about how we can become bigger, and that's that's how uh, uh, Raif has uh, has born. It's it was something that we don't. It's not something that we were looking for, but it's something that uh, appears, and it was marvelous. It was so nice that we can uh, we can share that opportunity, and we can share the uh, same company, same name. And that's how that's how uh, right has uh, started. Okay. So, and what do you have any like, particular project for the, the next months with you know some special uh, SEO tips you would like to share with us? Some special projects you're going to to launch? You know something you would like to, to talk with us? Uh, right now we are <laughs> sorry. Right now we are so glad to work with. Uh, uh, SELO group. I know you're your friends, you know how <laughs> how big is that company. And uh, uh, well, we are working with um, uh, Comunidad Valenciana, it's uh, one part of Spain. We are working with cash converters, it's a, it's a big company too. Uh, we, we love how we can, uh, how we can deal with the small clients and how we can deal with big clients because uh, we are the same so it's uh, so so funny or not, not it's not funny maybe it's not the word but it's so nice to see that uh, we can do our work properly yeah. uh, uh, it doesn't depend if you're big 
that's it. It, it doesn't yeah. depends if you're big or you're small. It's uh, it's something that you have to do. You have to do it properly. And that, I think that it's uh, that's the, the the biggest thing I'm proud of. I can help big. I can help small companies. And it doesn't matter if you do quite good things. You have a lot of opportunities to become bigger or to become mm. uh, to have more more sales. Yeah. That's true. Thank you. Um, we invited you at the um, European Edition Night, you know, back in, in November, mm -hmm. um, where you talked about uh, voice, voice search and its impact in 2018. Um, what are for you the, the three, you know, um, main new points? And why do SEOs should pay attention to, to voice search this year? Well, uh, uh, I think voice search is, um, is something so disruptive. We are not used to have, uh, uh, we're not used to have uh, non-screen. We, we haven't got the screen with, uh, with voice search. And it's something that we have to know how to deal. The problem is that for the, the, the filter, the bubble filter, the filter, I don't know, sorry, it's a, sorry for that part. But it says it's a filter, it's a bubble that you, if you don't have 10 links to see uh, or, or to look for something different mm -hmm. uh, and you only have one answer and it's always the same answer, people trust Google. But uh, if you see the last studies, uh, something from Google is good in m around 90%. So um, if Google said that there is only one question, uh, there is only one answer to a question, uh, people are going to trust it. And, uh, and we have a filter bubble here because um, it is not about uh, how to run or how to improve your CTR. It's, it's not that. It's, it's about only it's only about one position, and and we should be afraid with, about what's going to happen in uh, next steps. For example, when uh, when that that future snippet comes from a uh, from a PPC campaign. I think I think that we are moving towards that part. We are moving towards that uh, that world. No screen. Speaking to the mm, smartphones. Speaking to the tablet. Speaking to a Google Home and an Alexa. And um, and I think we should know that we are going to have problems about how to deal with that. There's no more 10 links, it's only one link. Well, I'm I'm afraid I'm preparing a preparing restaurant. <laughs> no, I was joking. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that uh, is really scared because um, it's, yeah, because it's not going to be... Sorry? Yeah, you have to be the, the more accurate, you know. Yeah, yeah, but and it's not going to be so easy to become... Um, uh, to become to return the the, the inverse investment in our project right now we should be uh, profitable but um, I don't know how we can became profitable in that in that scenario in that part so it's uh, it's something that really uh, it's something that I ha we have to think on. We have to be profitable that in that part too. So it's uh, if it's going to be twenty percent of uh, searches, mm -hmm. and uh, the mobile searches are going up right now. It's more that there are more mobile searches than uh, text of searches. We have to be prepared to uh, to improve that part. Okay, and and. And talking about um, you know another shift coming soon, um, we are talking a lot about the, the mobile first uh, index recently. Um, have you already seen the transition with some of your clients, or um, what do you recommend to you know smoothly take the, the transition? I'm I'm I don't know what's going to happen. I don't really know what's going to happen. I mean, it's a mobile search world. Okay, right now. There is clear that you cannot hide content on the desktop 
uh, on desktop searches. Okay, uh, maybe the old people on on, on Crawl, and maybe the old people that are listening, remember when we used to put the content on desktop on on, for example, on e-commerce uh, behind some tabs. Yeah. So here you have the description. Here you have wherever. Here you have wherever. Here you have here you have wherever. Okay, right now those this content is duplicated onto desktop searches they said that this is going to be allowed on mobile searches but we we haven't touched that part so um we don't really know how it's going to uh, how it's going to happen uh, what's going to happen when uh, mobile searches mobile first in uh, mobile, mobile first appears we should we should see we're going to see what's happening that in that part because it's not really easy to understand how google is going to deal with uh, drop down menus uh, uh, content uh, in tabs uh, that kind of things that we're not going to we're not going to uh, we're going to see what's happening i'm i'm uh, what 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 we are doing is uh, trying to improve uh the double po we are trying to improve um making fast even faster websites it's mm -hmm. not about amp it's about doing better websites doing uh um lighter websites so uh, looking for lo looking to improve the user experience i think the seo should work so closely with the ux guys and uh, see okay yeah. we have to do it this thing even better so how we are going to do i'm doing that part uh, instead of uh, I, I prefer to do that part instead of uh, making uh, big changes in architecture big changes on that kind of thing so we should be we should be wondering what's going but something is clear it's about speed it's about uh, double po it's about user experience okay so you talked about um ux and speed and all this kind of on-site optimization um is there any like best practice that is for you you know um, essential to to optimize the website um, in 2018. Yeah, we, we're trying. We're trying to do. We're working right now with uh, big e-commerce sites, and um, we what we are trying to do is uh, to improve how uh, users and how Google find the important solution, the, the important part of your website. Okay. If you are in a, in, a, in sorry, if you are in a e-commerce, everything should be clear on the face on the first screen. Mm -hmm. Everything should be clear that price, button, title, photo if it's needed, and um, small resume of of the of the product that we are working in. And if we have that, if the URL is clear in that part. Um, a user will find what they are what they are looking for. And another thing we are trying to improve is how to deal with uh, transactional information and only information. Uh, it's not the same. It's not the same to uh, get a good position for a informational. Uh, search query or a transaction of search query is about uh, buy wherever or only wherever there are uh, different uh, there are different uh, intentions so what what we are trying to do is to improve that if they are looking information they find it and if they're looking for a transactional uh, um, action they can find and maybe another side, maybe another part of your website that it's so focused on uh, that transactional part. And I think is um, trying to answer directly to the user is what we should look for in our websites right now. Um, okay, maybe it's not something new. Yes, um, it's not something new that uh, Google want people to um, 
to make good thing with uh, it search and uh, search engines. So, um, but right now it's something that is so clear that you have to answer properly, fast, yeah. and in a good way to the user. Okay. Okay, that's pretty pretty clear actually. Um, I think that's one thing that everyone should do. Um, so um, there is so thank you for all the, the tips we, you shared with, with us. Um, there's uh, the public space we all know, but what is Fernando doing on his free time? You know, just to talk <laughs> about something different from SEO. <laughs> I um, I try to uh, have as much as time as I can with uh, with my kids. <laughs> um, they used to see me going out and make a conference in Madrid, in Paris, in, in Romania. It doesn't matter where. And uh, when I when I'm at home, I try to be when they come from uh, the school, uh, play with them and. Uh, I don't know, maybe some Legos, some uh, video games, and some that kind of things. Uh, I love to go. I love uh, go and walk in, uh, have a walk in, in Chiclana, in Cadiz, a small town in, in in Cadiz, and I love walking also, um, uh, going out to to a restaurant or wherever in Cadiz. That is something I love too much to. <laughs> To, to spend my free time. And sometimes I even go to see a football match here in Marbella and in Cadiz. That is, uh, Marbella is uh, third division and uh, Cadiz is in second division. But I love, uh, I love going to, uh, to, the, to, to some football matches. Okay, so you like to relax and hang some time with your family. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's something, that, uh, um, something that I need to not, not not become mad. <laughs> and just to, to chill and <clears throat> not to think about SEO all the time. <laughs> um, so finally, I have a, um, a last question. <clears throat> so I would like to know how it feels to be one of our Anchor ambassador, you know? And if you can tell us what is your most favorite Anchor feature? I love how uh, on crawl uh, can uh, make clusters of information. Okay, you can make cluster, so it can give you a, a, a big photo about how it's uh, how it's your site, and uh, and you can if you do a proper um, segmentation on your website, it's uh, something that you can you can see how uh, Google. Is, uh, is going through your site, uh, but uh, I'm using right now with a big um, new site. I'm um, something that uh, has surprised me about Oncrow that uh, I, I was wondering how how I can put figures onto what I think as a SEO that it's something is happening on the website. Okay, I know I know that some parts of the website are uh, weak. Okay, let's let's see. I think is no more uh, a word. I can have right now. I can have phone crawl and see if, uh, and show a photo and see. Hey, look, that's what's happening on your website. Mm -hmm. This is what Google is doing on your website. And as you see, is uh, going around a sh shitty part of your website. It's a it's a crawling news from uh, 2014 2013 and this is this is not what we want to what we want to is to improve our position right now what we would need to improve is that part and okay and now we have figures we have numbers and this is one of the one of the first parts of uh, of on crawl that um what SEO wonders about how Google works on the website now is clear. Now is something that you can give figures, and this is uh, maybe maybe our our um, our customer doesn't know about SEO, but they know about mom numbers, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's it. That's it. If you show them numbers, okay, you've got it. Yeah, they can that's understand. Something. 
Yeah. Okay, so thank you, thank you, Fernando, for for your time and for your answer. Uh, it was very interesting to to have you with us and to you know to to introduce you to your wider community. Um, so thank you for joining us, and uh, we hope to see you soon. And, and have a great day in in Malaga for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Same to you. It's a pleasure for me being here with you, with your audience, and it's a pleasure being an, uh, an ambassador. So, uh, guys, you know where you have a place to work in. If you want to come and some, pass some days in Malaga, you have a free seat. <laughs> that's a, that's a good <laughs> you one. have a free seat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hope we can uh, follow this, uh, this, uh, those interviews and see. And we're trying to, uh, we're we're working on writing good tips. What what we are doing on on crawl with on crawl on our website. I hope uh, we can share that information. And I think that it's, um, and I think that uh, we can do things easy to our SEO or to our SEO community. Yeah, great. Thank you. Um, bye bye. Bye. Thank you.